In this video, we're going to take a look at a couple of standard deviation exam pass paper questions. Not looking at all of them that's available on the National 5 Maths Applications website, simply because they're quite repetitive. Alright, once you've mastered standard deviation questions, they are all going to be pretty much the same, just with different numbers in different context. So, question number one says, the birth weight of babies in the hospital in 2017 was recorded. A sample of the weights in kilograms is shown. For these weights, calculate the mean and the standard deviation. Okay, you need the mean to work out the standard deviation anyway. So, this is A part one. All these ones are calculator questions. To work out the mean, we call that x bar when we're kind of dealing with standard deviation. So I'm going to add these all up. 2.5 plus 4.5 and so on. I'm not going to write all those down. And I'm dividing it by the number that there is. And there was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oops. And I'm going to get my answer. 2.5 plus 4.5, plus 3.7, plus 3.1, plus 3.8, plus 3.4, and that's 21. And 21 divided by 6 is 3.5. Okay, so that's me got x bar, which is the mean, and that was that first part. So you would really have got a mark for getting that. Part two then is working out the standard deviation. So we're always going to start off with a table here. And we're going to take our x values. We're going to subtract the mean from each of those. And then we're going to square it. And that's all to do with the formula that's used. So we set out our table. Okay, so write down all the x values, 2.5, 4.5, we have got 3.7 and 3.1, and 3.8 and 3.4, and then what we're going to do is x take away x bar, so 2.5, take away 3.5, that's going to be minus 1, 4.5, take away 3.5, that's going to be 1, just, just to calculate if you need to, 3.7, take away 3.5, it's going to be 0.2, 3.1, take away 3.5, it's going to be 0. And 3.4, that'll be 0. Negative 0 0.1. Then I'm going to square them. One square, uh, negative 1 squared is just 1. 1 squared is just 1. 0 0.2 squared is 0 0.04. Okay. Zero, 0 0.04 squared. That's going to be 0 0.16. Remember, when you square a negative, the that negative goes away. Alright, it just becomes positive. 0 0.3 times 0 0.3 or 0 0.3 squared. That's 0 0.09. And then 0 0.1, negative 0 0.1 squared. That would just be 0 0.01. Okay, and then what we're going to do is the sum of all of those and add them all up. So 1 plus 1. So what we're doing is the sum not really, that's not the best symbol for that. The sum of x minus x bar all squared. So I'm just going to add those all up. So 1 plus 1 plus 0 0.04 plus 0 0.16 plus 0 0.09 and plus 0 0.01. It's 2.5. is the total for that. And then I'm all, going, all I'm going to do is using a formula for standard deviation. This is given in the formula sheet as that sum, x minus x bar all squared, all over n minus 1. n in this case is just how many samples there was, and there was 6. 
So it's going to be the square root of 2.3 over n minus 1, so 6 minus 1 would be 5. So the standard deviation to get my answer. Square root of 2.3 divided by 5 is 0 0.6. Seven, eight. Okay, and that's places. I'm just going to be able to that. I'm not much way around when that's up. I'm just looking to save a bit of space. Okay, now technically these are both kilograms, so the mean technically is kilograms, as is the standard deviation, but it's not something you'll necessarily get penalised for. Okay, so next one. Uh, part B says the birth weight of babies born in hospital 1987 was also recorded. The mean weight was 3.4 kilograms, and the standard deviation 0.95. Make two valid comparisons. Common again. So, well, when we've got two means, we're going to start off with the phrase on average because that is what the mean tells us. So on average, um, if we think about it. The weights were, and it could be higher or lower depending on what one you're going for, but I'm going to say that they were higher in 2017 as the mean of 3.5 kg kilograms is bigger than 3.4 in 1987 and then we've got the standard deviation standard deviation is all to do with spread so we can say that the weights in 2017 where now we can use the phrase to either consistency or spread that we talk about so it's 0 0.95 and it was 0 0.678 in 2017, so the less spread out. So the weights in 2017 were less spread out, okay, which is also just the same as saying more consistent. Okay, guys. So a deviation of 0. 678 was greater than zero, eh, less than, excuse me, was less than 0 0.95 in 1987. So remember, average is mean and consistency or spread, that's when we're talking about standard deviation. So the lower the standard deviation, the less spread out. Okay, so that was one question. Just another wee question on this. So Scott trains at the velodrome in his new bike. He records his top speed in kilometres per hour. Those are the speeds. For these, calculate the mean and the standard deviation. So, calculate the mean. X bar, that's just all these added together divided by the total number. I'm not going to write that out, obviously. Okay, and it's dividing by 6. There's 6 in total. So 61.2 plus 58.3 plus 59.1 plus 58.8 plus 60.4 plus 59.8. Divide that by the 6 in total. 59.6. Divide that by 6. So it's double check that I've got that correct there because it's coming up as a not so nice answer 58.3, 59.1, 58.8, 59.6, 59.7. Yep, 59. Oh, I'd already divided it by 6. Okay, so the actual answer itself is 
59.6. Didn't realise I'd already divided. And technically that would be kilometres per hour. Alright, technically the mean has the same units. And now to work out the standard deviation, well, we have our table. Set that out every single time. The bracket there. So we're doing x, x take away the mean, and then that answer squared. Extend that line down a wee bit. Okay, fill in our values, 61, 58, 59.1, 58.8, 60.4, and 59.8. Okay, so x take away the mean. So 61.2 take away 59.6. That's 1.6. 58.3 take away 59.6. That's going to be minus 1.3 and I'll just quickly do the rest of those. Remember, I would suggest, might as well, put it all in the calculator, just to make sure you're not making any mistakes. Okay, and then I'm going to square them, so 1.6, square it. Point three, square that. Remember, when you do it, the negative will disappear. That's the point of doing it. Right, it will just become a positive. And I'll just fill in the rest of those. Remember, in that last column, you should never have any negatives. Last one, 0 0.04. And what we do is do the sum of x minus x bar all squared. Add all those values up. 2.56 plus 1.69 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.64 plus 0 0.64 plus 0 0.04. Double check, I've got six numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. My total is 5.82. And then I'm going to work out the standard deviation using the formula. So it's the sum of x minus x bar squared, all over n minus 1, and you take the square root of that. n is 6. There's 6, sam there's six same bits of data. So that's going to be the square root. 5.82 over 5, so the standard deviation is going to be to, let's do this to two decimal places, 1.08 it would be. Okay, I'm not going to show the unrounded answer, but it's something you should always do. I've just run in that space on this page, and it's again kilometers per hour technically, but you won't get penalised. Okay, part B. Scott had a mean top speed on his old bike of 57.3 kilometers an hour and a standard deviation of 1.21. Make two valid comments. Right, when it's the mean, always start off by saying on average. Then talk about the context. In this case, it's the speed. Okay, and on average, the speed was higher on this new bike. As 
thing, or rather as the mean of fifty oops fifty nine point three kilometers an hour is greater than fifty seven point three kilometers an hour for the old one and then oops for and then another comment standard deviation is all about spread so for this example on the old bike the examples sorry the times were less spread out because the standard deviation is less so let's just see that okay the speed for Where less spread out or more consistent, something like that, as the standard deviation of 1.08, that would be cos is less than 1.21 for the old bike. So, standard deviation, always going to be that kind of style. Work out the standard deviation and there will then be comments on it. These are questions you really want to make sure you're getting correct. It's the same process every time. And with the comments, just remember those kind of two important bits. The mean, that's about average. And standard deviation, that's about spread or consistency. The higher the mean, the higher the average. And vice versa. And the lower the standard deviation the lower the spread and vice versa and then just make sure you relate it to whatever the context is so there is plenty more past paper questions available but as the questions themselves are quite repetitive we're just going to leave it at that for this video